welcome to Beads Jar. My name's Billy, and in today's tutorial, which is perfect for beginners, I'm going to be showing you how to work with a wire jig to be able to create yourself your own ear hooks. We'll then be attaching these very fabulous hand painted glass oval beads. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to show you how to make these fabulous little earrings and to add a special effect to this beautiful project we'll be making our own ear hooks using the artistic wire finding forms uh, jig. I've got these absolutely wonderful hand painted glass beads in an oval, real gold saucers, some Mayuki seed beads for either side and I've got some 0.8 square wire but if you do prefer if you're used to making up earrings you can use a rounded wire so the only difference is it's a little bit more flexible with the rounded wire so you don't have such a sharp form for your earring hook the other thing i have on my desk here is a one and a half inch head pin and the tools i'll be using as well as the jig is a round nose pair of pliers flat nose pliers and side cutters so I'll go ahead and show you how to make them up. The first part I'd like to show you is how to use your artistic wire jig. So I've got a length of my copper wire, a uh, gold wire, sorry, and I'm just going to pop that through the hole in the artistic wire jig. On this side, I'm then going to fold that wire at a 90 degree angle. That'll give me a nice firm grip. I'm now going to bring the wire across and around the first circle on my wire jig and then bringing that around and up over across and then pull tightly on the wire here I'm just going to push down on the wire so that it gets the form I'm just using pliers to just push that right down to the bottom so the forms really well placed okay then I'm going to turn that back round and open the right hand bend that I made and that should pop off just like so at the moment it doesn't look much and we're going to tidy that up so in order to make our point here, we we'll just flip the project round and using the side cutters, we're just going to cut that off. And then we're going to tidy this section up here. So you want to take your wire cutters and we're going to cut the excess wire off on the loop. So we're almost there with that looking the same as the other one. And just to really tidy that up, I'm going to use my flat nose pliers and I'm bringing that in so that it's all smooth and there's no overlapping anywhere. There we have our ear wires for that project. And now we can move on to our drops. So I'm picking up my head pins. So a head pin's got a flat little end like this and I'm going to add my beads of choice onto this head pin. So I'm putting one of the seed beads followed by the saucer, the beautiful hand painted glass beads, a saucer bead and a Mayuki. I'm going to pick up my round nose pliers and I'm wanting to make a loop on the top of my head pin. So I'm going to hold this with my right hand, firm grip, and you'll notice my pliers are flush against the top of that last seed bead. And what I want to do now is to push the pin, so I'm using my thumb, at a 90 degree angle. So I've manipulated the shape of the head pin like so. 
I then want to reposition my pliers. So I was here, I'm just going to release the grip and place them above the bead. And I'm going to bring that head pin all the way over the top of my pliers and down. So I've got a hook shape. Placing my pliers back into that loop, we're then going to wrap this wire around the neck of the head pin. Because we've got short length, I'm just going to use some flat nose pliers to help me tease that in. So I'm just wrapping that around the neck of the wire on the head pin. And that will give me a really smooth finish loop for my earrings. So I'll repeat that again for the second one. Placing the pliers, fold it away from, away from you, reposition the pliers and bring that back towards you. Pliers out and then into the loop, although it's deciding to spin away, and we're wrapping the wire around. And this is where we bring the flat nose pliers in if we're having a bit of an issue with the end. So we've now got those two finished off on the tops. And I think that pearlescent works so well with the gold as well. To attach that now to my earring hook, I'm just gonna open the loop on our earring hook. So I'm just twisting that upwards, hooking my bead on. And you'll notice I've put the bead to the side over my finger so it doesn't get in the way when I close this back together again. So I just used my flat nose pliers for that. And that's given me a beautiful form for this earring. And I'll do the same for the second. So you'll notice I'm just holding it on my finger. Pliers go over the top of the hook just to grab the loop and I'm supporting the frame of the earring with my thumb and then that'll hook on over my finger so it doesn't get in the way, pliers over the top and then grabbing onto the loop and closing that in. And that I think gives you some very modern, very simple but equally effective earrings. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all of the latest designs. You can get all of the products used at beadjar.co.uk. Until next time, bye!